If you see the prophets on here teaching and you're like, oh, them the same people that I've been learning from. I need to, listen, I don't care what I'm doing right now. I'm about to U-turn skirt and come back over here. You know what? I, I be riding around looking for y'all. Mm. Matter of fact, I was at Walmart the other night. It was Friday night and, and the sun was about to be down. And I was trying to get this last minute shopping in, you know what I'm saying? So I, I would, that's, that's him right there. That's the brother right there. He gave me a card. Oh, that's snap. him right there. Yeah. All crazy. Oh, that's him. Crazy. That's, crazy. that's him right there. <laughs> yeah. So he, I, this, this was our day. This is what you call an art day in the point. God knew this was going to happen when I woke up this morning, and I didn't know that. That's the amazing thing about God to me. Oh, yeah. crazy. So, did you know today's the Lord's Sabbath day? Yes, I did. So, you know, you're an Israelite. What tribe do you come from? Do you know? Judah. Judah. Okay, so where did you learn this information from? From y'all. From us. On YouTube. From people in purple and gold. From YouTube. From Israel United in Christ. Okay, I'll pray you. So, you finally came and saw us then. Yes, sir. Did you know that we was out here? Nah, this was an ordained appointment by God. Like, Woo! I'm coming from doing some work for my mother. Helping okay. her put some stuff in her garage, put mm -hmm. some stuff in the attic. And on my way back, I seen y'all over here. I just made a U turn and came mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. But I've been I've been watching videos. I mean, I don't watch hundreds of videos, you know, on YouTube. Okay, hey, see, that's how all of us was. Once you find that one video, you just hey, you just keep watching, don't you? You just keep watching. You might even lose sleep. You go after video, after video, after video. On the way to work, you want to watch a video. On your job, on your breaks, you want to watch a video. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't never heard this stuff before, right? Um, I'm converted. You I've converted? Been, I've, been, I've been converted. I was, I was a bona fide Christian. Okay. I thought that's what I was. Because you, you were serving him at first, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah when was. you was praying at night, you was thinking of that white boy right there. I, I was. Okay. Do you have any actions that you plan on doing that you just haven't obtained yet, as uh, far as these, these commandments? Well, I just, what, what I need to, what I, iron sharpen iron. Right. What I need to do, I need to be around mm. more people like y'all, because every, 99% of the people that I know, I'm 52 years old, 99% 99% of the people that I know, they call themselves Christian. I no longer do. So it's like I'm out here on an island by myself Ooh. now. You know what I'm saying? People think they think something wrong with me, but you know the light done came on. Mm -hmm. You know what what you, what what John 8 and 32 said? Right. You should know the truth and the, and the truth shall set you free. Right. I know the truth now. Yeah, you know the truth now. I was deceived, man. Right. Yeah. So they looking at you like you crazy because yes. you know the truth, but to you a God fearing man now, so you looking at them like they crazy. Yes, sir. See you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, that's sir. because we got the same mind now. Because you know who you are, you remembered yourself. That's what like we did. We remembered ourselves. And you said you need to be around people that uh, are God fearing just like you, right? This brother, Proverbs 12 and 26. Okay, because if you around these people too much, you might be just like them. You know what I'm saying? None of us is is uh, away from that. None, but none of it's not like any of us can say. I'm gonna hang out with wicked people every day, right. all day, only wicked people, right. and I'm gonna just stay righteous. Watch this. The book of Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. Yep. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. So you coming into the truth now, you woke up, you got the truth, right? You right. know you're an Israelite, you about to start keeping the commandments, not working on the Sabbath day anymore, not cooking on the Sabbath day, doing none of the abominable works that the white man wants us to do. But you're gonna do everything that God says. So it says, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. All those people that look at you like you crazy and you going, you know, psycho or whatever, you, they think this is just a phase. They, uh, you, you're not going to do what they do. You see what I'm saying? You're more righteous. You're better than them. That's what the scripture's saying right here, Read. Right? But the way of the wicked seduces them. But the way of the wicked seduces them. Now go back to Hebrews. So if you constantly and constantly and constantly around nothing but wicked people, they're going to seduce you. Now you're going to go back into the sins that you used to be doing. Now you're going to take on the sins that they want you to do. But you, you, you old now. You know what I'm saying? You're an aged man now. So you're saying, listen, I lived my life. I lived 52 years of wickedness. Yeah. I'm ready to repent now. That's, yeah. what you, that's what your mind is right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All praises. Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. For not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. Right. So that's what Paul was saying. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. That's what you're saying. I don't want to forsake the assembly no more. I want to be around the assembly. I want to be around the brothers and sisters that know what I know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I can be like iron sharpening iron, like you said. Yeah. So I can be built up. So I can uh, help myself. So Because you might not know how to help yourself with certain things, but another brother can. You know what I'm saying? He can help you because he already been through that and, and uh, overcame that sin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what? Uh, all my life, you know, we, we, we go through this life or whatever, and then you go through the, the educational system or whatever and you think you educated you think you know something 
And then when God humble you and show you you really don't know nothing because I never knew my I never knew my my nationality. I've been, I've been thinking I was an African all these years, or my ancestors were. Right. And then to find out the, the truth and then it's right there in your face, it just it, it humbles you. And then and now and now I don't. I, that, that, what I was is behind me. I wanna, I wanna embrace the nation. I wanna embrace the laws of God. I wanna be I'll obedient agree. and all that right there. That's that, that's why I'm here. I was drawn here to, to, to y'all. Had to be. And, and you know what? It's hot as heck out here, but I can't even help it. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like the spirit drew me out here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's all praise the most high, brother. Yeah. See, Jesus said, "My sheep hear my voice. That's right. I know right. them, and they follow me." You yeah. know what I'm saying? We need you because. Uh, you you uh, had more experience in this this wicked life than us. You know what I'm saying? I as have. far as the younger ones, anyway. So you can relate to older brothers. You know what I'm saying? You can relate to more people, maybe. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you're the aged men. So yeah. you the aged men supposed to be teaching the younger men anyway, right? So we need you, brother. We need you on this side. You know what I'm saying? We need you suited up, booted up on the ground teaching the people, bro. I'm telling you, bro. We need you. Watch this. Read this. Because what you saying about the wisdom of this world? Watch. Read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter one. Verse 21, for after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. So the wisdom of God is not known in this world. The wisdom of God is not known in this world. Okay, read. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching because like you said, you woke up, you know who you are now. Now you trying to wake up other people, they looking at you like you foolish. Yeah. Yeah. See that? That's why we look like we foolish to those who don't believe. Yeah. That's why I said it pleases God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. What's, what, what, what was that again? Uh, First Corinthians one and twenty one. Okay. Now give me Luke seven and thirty three. Watch this. Read this because, like I was saying about the men, we need aged men because this is what a lot of our men are doing right now. This is what Christ said. Read. The book of Luke, chapter seven. Chapter seven, verse thirty one, and the Lord said, "Run to then." Shall I liken the men of this generation? So Jesus, the black Messiah, because we know he ain't white. Jesus said, who shall I liken the men of this generation? Who do, what, what type of people are these men? Read. And to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace. So Jesus came on this earth and was like, oh my goodness. Look at these men out here. They acting just like children. You got grown men, 50 years old, 60 years old, still trying to be in a club, right. chasing after some young women. Right. What, what, what? Come on, bro. Age they at least teach you something. You got men sagging their pants, listening to all this thug music. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you have to live for? Age should have taught you something in the years that you've been on this earth. That's right. That's what Jesus said. He came to this earth and said, oh, my goodness, look at these men acting just like children. It's a shame. That's why you see a lot of uh, older brothers hanging with young men into stupid gang stuff. Right. Like, come on, you should be older than that. You should be teaching the young men not to be doing this, this, and that. That's right. Brother, you got your Bible open. What's up? Well, I'm oh, you really know? Okay. So you got the fringes on. I'm fellowship with y'all, With the Board of Blue. Okay, so you, have you ever came to our school? Nah, I, been, I looked online. <laughs> yeah, I just looked online. I came from GLCC. I'm not with them. Oh, okay. I'm up under somebody else now. Oh, I'm I'm fellowship with all of them. Okay, so uh, your camp ain't got no school right now? Nah, we don't have, it's not a camp, but I'm with you. I used to be a camp. I'm okay. GOCC. Right. I'm no longer We got brothers that used to be with GBC, GOCC right here that you see right now. One, uh, some of them that I was with, uh, they was in uh, Skeet. Okay. Yeah, I was in Dallas. Okay, so uh, so what's what's your mission right now then? Well, I just left from a one body fellowship with them, so I just saw your brothers, so I just thought we were in fellowship with y'all. Oh, okay, so okay. I was on my way to get ready to go into my study. Okay, so you you keeping the commandments and you believe in Christ, so everything good with you, right? Yes, sir. Okay, well then all praises then. All praises. So yeah, brother, you got any questions? No. Sister, do you got any questions? Yes. Okay. When you don't stop following Jesus and God, His name is Yeshua. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because when uh, we gonna stop following this fake God? So uh, what scripture is that? Give me that That's Revelation no thirteen. Oh, so there's no scripture. That's no scripture, but you can you can you can you can Google it. What was Jesus' name for? Before the European gave us this Jesus and this God. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen to that, right, sister? Yeah. But, okay, you asking who gave us his name. Oh, I already know. Right. I already know that his name is Yeshua. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why are we still calling him Jesus and, and God? Come okay, on. so you have that question. So I have a question now. Mm -hmm. Why are women still uh, 
taking what the white man's giving them as far as pants. Why are you get, why are you taking what the Europeans gave you? Right. You wearing pants. Well, this is what. They're no, sister, sister. In Jesus' day, okay, everybody wore. You asked okay. us. Hold on, I, I want y'all men to understand this. You something. This sister came and asked me, why are we still calling on the name that the Europeans gave us? Right. Yeah, let's leave let's just let's say if that was true. Why are you still calling on the name that the Europeans gave us? Right. Let's just let's say if that was true. Why are you still? Listening and taking what the Europeans are giving you. You're not supposed to be wearing pants, sister. We don't have, right. we don't have any of our people making clothes. This is what I'm trying to push you with the women. Making clothes for our shaped body. We that do. Stuff they made for, we for do. that flat butt, no chest bump, black white woman. Sister, we have we have companies that make modest dresses. We got things, what is it called, like modest apparel. That's and right. We have companies. Yes, we, we actually doing that because we understand that. We have companies, sister. If you do, you, you know you're an Israelite, right? Huh? You know you're an Israelite. Yes, I do know. Okay, give me Titus two. two. Sister, oh, you're supposed to be teaching these and younger are sisters. Are you searching that word? Because guess what? Uh, uh, Europeans have put a lot of lies in there, and they're all in red. Bruh. <laughs> so you don't even believe on Christ? Is that what you said? You don't I even believe, believe on Christ? Yeah, you don't yeah. even believe? I believe that there was a Christ. A Christ. Thomas, and he did come. He Yeshua was supposed to be the son of God, correct? Yeshua is the son of God. These words that are written in red are Yeshua's words. Then. I am sorry. So you don't even believe him. I am sorry. Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Are you, sister? Yes, You I can't am. be. You oh, wear yeah. pants. Look at this. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's bring it out. Whoever is filled with the Holy Spirit, meaning they're carried. keeping the commandments of God. You keep the commandments of God? Yes, I do. How you feel? And I'm, I'm absolutely. Is there a dress code for the women? I'm not, it really, it really, it says, says modest apparel, and this is no, just no, a it says something else. Watch this. Listen, so you might not know this. Brother, you know the God. book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two, verse five. The woman, the shall, woman, you read. The woman shall not wear. Shall not wear, which is the commandment. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That's right. What are the things that pertain to a man that so you're this, wearing he, right he now? Wearing a dress. That's not a dress. He wearing a dress. It pertains to a woman. Let me tell you something. It's a garment. Yeah, sure is about what well, life. It's not about what you put on. It's about what you and eight. what's going in and what how you live. Yeshua, right? I live a good life. Not a a godly hey, life. this is not a dress. This that, is a, this is a garment. And I'm going to tell you okay, something. Hold on, so let me break down. Stop down. See, this is scripture. See, this is what the it's about. The lady that had an issue blood touched the hem of his garment. When you look up the word him, it said tassel or free. Right. No, I already listened so to my word. Listen. And he attacked another Read woman this. like that. You the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Sister, you just said that Yeshua doesn't care what you wear. Okay, that's not a dress. But those are pants, though. Everybody knows those are pants. No, yeah, those are pants. Read. These are women pants. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of Yeshua's sacrifice, that what you call him. It's, it's going to come to pass that what? That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So what does that mean? What is the strange apparel? He won't judge me. I bet I can't help What is the strange apparel, sister? Strange apparel? Yeah. The strange apparel is a woman acting like a man. A man acting like a woman. Putting on a man's spirit. Putting on a woman's spirit. Strange, That's strange apparel. apparel. That's exactly right. Definition strange of apparel. apparel. Clothing. May, may I say something? Now this is the same thing that tore up the Church of God in Christ and other, other all the black religion brother do you uh, hey me, you, you, me, you seen this right in front of your eyes you've been you've been seeing this on the videos how these crazy women come up but now you've seen this right in may your I life right now God is straight up straight up. Crazy, crazy men can't keep Just that like other man in check oh but we can keep give me first check. corinthians 14. May I first corinthians 14 and 34. I don't know. You might can finish after we read the scripture. Let's see if it's okay for you to do this. See, this is the same thing that's broken up the church because of what people put on. You know what broke up the black men and women? The feminist movement when the white woman got all the lesbians and all the black women to wear pants. It's a girl against the men. The woman thinking that they equal now in the house. What's the saying? I wear the pants in the house. Why are you wearing the pants, sister? You want to be in obedience to him. You in front of all these men. There ain't no one sister in here but you. But you the main one talking. Listen, you the main one talking. All these men out here, there's men, there's men that are more silent you, than you. Brother, I, I, I there's men right here that are more I silent and obedient and submissive than you. Even, and you're a woman. I live a right Read that. Life. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 34. 
Let your woman keep sex. Let your women. Your women. This is what Paul is saying in the New you're Testament. Not, let your good, women. You're not a good teacher. Let your women keep silent in the church. No, oh, they right. should be coming up with false doctrines in the church. No. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. <laughs> Listen, it's not permitted for you to speak right now, sister. You need to humble yourself down. I'm you know how Sarah down. was? It says that I can Do you know how Sarah husband. was? I have none. Thank you. Bring it up. up. Then and you're obedient to the church. No, I'm not obedient to the church. No, I'm not obedient to the church. Not, that, first no, Corinthians not, 7? I Come will on. not be humbled under no first man. First Corinthians chapter 7. Most men are only saved to hear Bring my word. Matter of fact, first Corinthians 11 and 3. Period. <laughs> first Corinthians no, 11 and 3. You can't just remember that. You don't say. believe in the Bible. No. You don't believe in the Bible. You, uh, no, and you shouldn't either because Read. you think The book of first Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. She said, I shouldn't believe in the Bible either. Why are you here then? Go to somewhere else. Because. Sister, you got a demon in you. You need to get the demon out of you, sister. You have a demon in you. How old are you? How old are you? This is why the younger sisters are acting just like you. Sisters can't get right because you lead them. Do you have children? Do you have children, sister? Do you have children? You can't even answer it. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. You the loud yeah. mouth woman you're up here right looking, now going against the word of God. Come on. Uh, you're not looking through your spirit guide. Get Titus 2. Titus chapter 2. All y'all know how because to do the, is the, the demon in you is really All coming out and it's really showing their face strong. The so I'm going to show you what the yeah, age woman should be. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2 verse 3. The aged woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holy. God says that the aged black and Hispanic woman must have behavior that becomes holiness, right. meaning following the commandments of God. The commandments of God says a woman must be silent when the Bible is coming out. Sister, nobody has anything against you. We want you to hold it down to what the Bible says. But because your behavior is not becoming holiness, now we got to use the scriptures and cut you. We got to cut that demon out of you. Proverbs 7. Hold it. Proverbs 7. Is that uh, the, the supple woman? Proverbs 7. What is it, 7 and 13? Y'all trying to... 9 and 13. Proverbs 9 and 13. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. God says a foolish woman is clamorous. Loud mouth. She's trying to talk over a microphone and a speaker. With no wisdom coming out of her lips. No holiness coming out of her behavior. Read it again. The foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. God says she's simple and she knows nothing. You're going to sit up and tell us the, the reason why the black church was torn apart was because of what? Because me, black men who took the scriptures and misconstrued them. Stop, 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 stop. Read it again. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. God says she's simple. And she knows nothing. So if that's the case, sister, if that's the case, how about you humble down to what the Bible says? God says, I'm a God of order. First Corinthians 14 and 40. So you have the men, first Corinthians 14 and 40. You have the men that are out here to set the nation in order. But because we have loud mouth black and Hispanic women what, that like would not women? allow us to do you that like or are hindering are the like movement, hindering the progress, women? hindering black the progression black of the nation of Israel, black you know what? We're not, God is not going to stand for it. God is not standing for it. You're not looking at no jelly back men in the nation of Israel. The book of First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. God says, let everything be done decently and in order. Because God is a God of order. God set up the men to be the head. 1 Corinthians 11. God said, really? God set the men as the head. God set the men as the head. Watch this. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. God says, he's the, the God of order says that the head of every man is who? Is Christ. So guess what? Yes. We have to be under subjection to Christ. That's right. We understand order. Watch this. And the head of every woman is the man. So guess what? The woman has to be in subjection herself. She's under subjection 
of the man. She's under subjection of the man. You're looking at him today. The repented men, the repented men of the nation of Israel were the real men of the earth. But guess what? Because you have loud mouth black women in the nation of Israel, they hinder the movement. You have sinful women laden with sin that will not humble down to what God says because they're simple and they know nothing. The Bible is bearing witness to the demon inside of you, Sister Willie. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man. God says that the head of the woman is the man, sis. Sister, 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 what's your name, sis? What's your name? Princess Joy. Princess Joy. Yeah. Do you understand that the God, listen, do not speak. I'm speaking now. Listen. The God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, set the men up. He set us in order. He's giving us a very specific order right now. That old man that's in you is fighting against what God is. You shaking your head, but I'm telling you, the devil is in your head. You were that's how you were taught. We were taught to be soft, right. jelly back, right. weak right. to the woman. Right. Right. The woman wears the pants in the house. Right. Right. What do you want? I will do whatever. I will kneel to you. Look at all them songs, boys to men, a freaking prime ignite. They sitting the screaming and, and crying to the woman. Glorifying the woman, putting the pedestal, putting the woman on a pedestal. Now we're setting the, the, the God is setting the nation of Israel back in order. That's right. And the Lord wants to deal with you, but you cannot kick against that. You can't fight against us. If you're saying the reason why the black church failed is because of the the, the, the order that was lacking. Say again. Preaching only to the women. You never preach to the head. No, listen, listen, men. listen, listen. Stop, listen, stop kicking. Listen, listen, stop kicking. Stop kicking. Sister, sister, princess, princess, you don't even have a dress on. Do you understand how distorted your thinking is right now? Listen to me. Revelation 1 and 13. I'm going to show you something. Stop. Stop. Princess, stop. Princess, stop. That is a demon in you. No, I'm telling the demon, demon in you to stop. Saying, Listen. Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Who's the Son of Man? Yeshua. Yeshua. That's the Son of Man. Listen. Yeshua is the Son of Man. Come on. Clothed with a garment. He was what? Clothed with a garment. He was clothed with a garment. Garment like the brother has. Come on, down to down to the foot. Guess what? Yeshua had on a garment longer than this brother. That's right. Yeshua. Yeshua. So now Yeshua. So now Yeshua. Your head. He wears dresses. It would be considered a dress now. We don't know that. That was back in that day. Okay. So okay. So what should they wear today? That's because your mind is conformed to what the so-called white man told you. That's right. He gave you pants, now you wear pants. He gave you pants, now you wear pants. Sister, you, you must repent. Because if not, Zephaniah, what was it? Zephaniah 1. The Most High gave us these garments. These are for all our generation to separate us from the, from the Gentile race. Sister, right, we you don't even believe in the Bible. Right. So I still don't understand why you're here. You don't even believe in the Bible. You do not believe in, I don't care what your pastor says. You don't believe in the Bible. You understand that? Come on. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. So I'm done playing with you, princess. I'm done playing with you, and I'm done playing with the demon in you. Read. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is the day of God's judgment. That's right. The judgment that he's bringing to you, wicked evil, black, and Hispanic men and women that will not humble down to what God says. You evil brothers and sisters that will not conform to the laws of God, that want to continue to wear pants, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. God is going to show you what's going to happen. Read. That I will punish the princess. And the he will punish who? The princess. He will punish the princess. He 
we will punish you that and the king's children and all and all of his other children all the other blacks and hispanics and native americans that will not humble down to what god says one second brother brother one second one second and all such are clothed with strange apparel guess what Stranger yeah, power is yeah, pants yeah, on a woman. Yeah, Stranger yeah, power yeah, is pants yeah, on a woman. Yeah, so you can sit here and yell and scream to the top of your freaking lungs. But God says when Christ comes back, he's going to kill the, the women, the Israelite women that want to continue to wear pants. God says they are going to be judged. God is going to kill them. So you continue. Matter of fact, where is that? Uh, pure, all things are pure. Titus. To the pure, all things are pure. Watch this. Watch this. Stop. Stop. Listen. I, stop. My life speaks to Wait, is it 1 in 15? Titus chapter 1. Yep. The book of Titus chapter 1 verse 15. Until the pure, pure, all things are pure. So guess what? This Bible is pure, brothers. This Bible, God's commandments, his word, it's pure. That's right. You understand that? Come on. But unto them that are defiled. But unto them that are defiled. Bring it up. Defiled by what they eat. Defiled by their clothing. Defiled by breaking the Sabbath. That's right. And unbelieving. And what? And unbelieving. And they don't believe in what in God's words. Right. Is nothing pure. Nothing is pure. Nothing. There's no scripture we can bring out to make them believe. There's no scripture. We can tell them Christ is gonna kill them. Right. We can tell them that they're gonna be judged. Right. We can be. We can tell them they they evil for what they're doing. But guess what? Because the word of God is not pure in their mind and in their spirit, they'll continue to be out of order. They'll continue to be disrespectful. They'll continue to be cleverous. They'll continue to be simple. Read it again. Until the pure, all things are pure. But until then, so you brothers, listen. Stay pure, brothers. That's right. Your purity comes from God's words, this Bible, his commandments. This is where your purity comes in. You understand that? Still being disrespectful. Come on. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving. But to those that are defiled and don't believe, that want to argue about God's name, Christ's name, come on. Is nothing pure. Guess what? Nothing is pure. Is that it? But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Even their mind and their conscience, they don't have one. Do you have a wife? It's defiled. Do you have a wife? I have a wife and a daughter, and they wear dresses 24 7. And a quarter of blue. They stay in order. They're in subjection to me as I'm in subjection to Christ. You understand that? I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.